What if the comet from the movie Greenland hit Earth today? Let's get this started by grabbing a random comet. The comet in the film is called Clark, about 60 kilometers wide, six times larger than the rock that killed the dinosaurs. It's traveling at 70,000 kilometers per hour, faster than a bullet through space. And now, let's launch this. At that speed, the comet would carry more than 10 to the 26th power joules of energy. That's 100 trillion megatons of TNT, enough to boil the oceans and melt Earth's crust into lava. When the comet strikes, the energy release equals a small star exploding. The ground shock alone would shatter bedrock across half the planet. Earthquakes stronger than magnitude 12. Hurricanes of molten air racing outward faster than sound. Debris thrown into orbit rains back as firestorms lasting days. Every forest, every city, gone. Dust and ash rise into the stratosphere, blocking sunlight for years. Earth have turned into a glowing light with an average temperature of 1900 degrees. Ten years went by and you can see how Earth have cooled down a lot, but it still doesn't support life even at these conditions. The comet from Greenland was fictional, but the science behind it was terrible real. If a 60-kilometer object ever hit Earth, there wouldn't be any shelters or survivors or second chances.